Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the same day as yesterday. We're picking up kind of where we left off. We got the kitchen cleaned up from supper. Everybody's gotten their baths and ready for bed. We're not in the bed yet, but we're ready to go. I was about to rock the baby to sleep, but I'm going to get this banana bread in the oven first. That way it can be cooking while I rock him to sleep, and it'll be almost done when I get him to sleep. In this bowl, we're putting a stick of softened butter. This recipe is going to make two loaves of carrot banana bread. We're putting in three-fourths of a cup of sugar and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. All right, we're going to mix this all together. Now we're going to put in two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that. teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. This is my half teaspoon thingy, so we're going to put two of these. Now we need a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, there you go. and a fourth of a teaspoon of allspice. What are we making? I we're making. I don't even know what we're making. We're making carrot banana bread. I'm gonna be shredding up the carrots while he's stirring all that together. Oh, I need to add in the flour too. So we need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna dump this in, Jonah, and you just keep stirring, okay? Okay, I do. That's okay. Mm -hmm. When you get that all stirred together, then you add this half cup, okay? Okay. We need a cup of shredded carrots. I think this will be about enough right there. Just press uh, it yeah, down. you just press it. Down. Yep, that's good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this off of here so we can put this up. I just I clean as I go, y'all. Just go ahead and start putting stuff up and putting stuff back where it goes. All right, Jonah's gonna pour in the carrots. This recipe did not call for any milk or buttermilk or anything, but if y'all remember, the Starbucks copycat recipe that I love does put, I think, like a tablespoon of buttermilk or something, so we're going to put just a little bit of buttermilk in here. We're going to... Can I do it? Yeah, will you get that for me? We're going to change it up just a little. I'm only going to put in about that much right there. Now, we already have our bananas mashed up here. I mashed up three bananas. Do you want to put the bananas in, Jonah? Okay, so we're gonna put half the mixture in here. Jonah's asking, does it have a topping? You can make a cream cheese frosting to go on it, but since we're gonna be having this for breakfast, I'm not gonna do the cream cheese frosting. But if you wanted to have this as a dessert or a treat, you could totally make the frosting. I'll have the full recipe linked down below for y'all that has the frosting and all on it. This bread loaf pan that I have here is just a little bit bigger than the other one, so I'm actually gonna put just a little more than half into this one, and the rest of it I'm gonna put in the other one over here. Oh, and I did spray these with cooking spray. Now we just spread these out in the pan and then put them in the oven and they're gonna cook for about an hour. I'm gonna set a 35 minute timer because I have that smaller pan, so I need to start checking it in about 35 minutes. Y'all know what I forgot? The pecans. I'm gonna put a few chopped pecans on the top. Now in this recipe, it just has to put the chopped pecans on the top after you frost the banana bread. But like I said, since we're not doing the frosting, I'm just gonna put the pecans on the top here. Mm -hmm.
Okay, y'all, taste it of the banana bread. If you're making this for a dessert banana bread, you definitely probably want to make the frosting because the banana bread itself is not sweet. I mean, it's a little bit sweet. It's really good with breakfast, though, and you could probably even pour just a little bit of maple syrup on it. I think that would be really good. <laughs> So yeah, it's good, but once again, I will say, the Starbucks copycat banana bread that we make is still my favorite. I haven't found one to top that one yet. This one is good though, especially since it's got, you know what? If you wanna do the carrot banana bread, here's what I would do, y'all. I'll put that Starbucks banana bread video and recipe down below for y'all. I would make the Starbucks banana bread and just add the shredded carrots to that. That's what I would do. I think that would be really good. I mean, this is good. It's just, it's not as moist as the other banana bread and definitely not very sweet at all. So yeah, if I wanted to make carrot banana bread again, I would definitely do it that way. But this would be really good with the frosting. So if you wanna do the frosting on it, this would be the way to go because the frosting I know is gonna be really sweet and you don't want the banana bread to be really sweet. Anyway, lots of banana bread talk this morning. All right, we're gonna finish eating, get the kitchen cleaned up, and then it's time to go. takes the place of a noun. So in the sentence, Tracy went to her aunt's house. The pronoun in that sentence, what word takes the place of Tracy? Her takes the place of Tracy. They had a shelf for theirs and Tracy had a shelf for hers. This is talking about her brothers, okay? They is also a pronoun, right? But it's not a possessive pronoun. It's not showing ownership. All right, y'all, it is now three o'clock. Is that what time it is? 10 minutes after three, and it is hot in here. I'm gonna have to turn on the air conditioner. I was trying not to do it, but it's hot. It's almost 75 degrees in here. It's another really pretty day, and we're about to go outside, but I wanna get everything cleaned up in here first. Is that good? Manly's having a yogurt. He's learning how to do the little tubes. He still has spills, but he's learning. Yeah, are you looking for the cow? You took it down. He loves this little cow. There it is. Bull. Okay, can you put it back? Are you gonna sit with it right there? Uh oh. He just dripped it all over the floor. He sees the other kids with those though, and he wants to try to do it. So I tried Dunkin' Donuts new cold brew this morning. It started today, which when y'all are seeing this video, it started yesterday. But anyway, they have three different kind. Anyway, it was kind of watered down, but it could, y'all, our Dunkin' Donuts, bless their heart, sometimes, especially with new stuff, they don't, even with old stuff, they sometimes don't make it right. <laughs> My absolute favorite drink from there is the Blueberry Crisp Ice Latte. And they will still make it for you all throughout the year, they just don't advertise it on the menu. So anyway, that's what I always, you know, most of the time get. But today, I was like, they came out with this sweet cream, foam cold brew thing i'm gonna try it it just i mean it actually even looked watered down i might try it again on a different day when there are different people there because yeah like i said sometimes they don't make it right and that could have been the problem it, it, maybe it wasn't made right so tyler got his appliance put in this morning and his mouth was kind of sore and he asked could we get donuts when we left from there so of course i was like we sure can we definitely can <laughs> So I'm gonna work on a to-do list that I wanna get done before we go outside. That way when I come in to cook supper, the house is already clean. I need to change the trash and sweep in the bathrooms. I need to fix the bookshelf real quick. Well, it's not really a bookshelf. It's the, y'all, I'll show you, you'll see. It's where we keep our books. It's most of the homeschool books that we're using right now that the kids don't already keep in their backpacks. 
any read aloud books that we have and just some that if the kids have any free time during school they like to read or look at. But they get kind of messy over there throughout the week so we need to fix that. I have just a few dishes I need to wash up. Switch out the laundry again. Okay, y'all, we got the to-do list done, and we stayed outside for a little bit. I went on a little walk with the kids. Tonight for supper, we're having the slow cooker, jalapeno popper, chicken sandwiches. That's the southern version. Jalapeno popper, that's it. It's originally a slow cooker recipe. What you want? Banana bread? So yeah, this is originally a slow cooker recipe, but I'm gonna change it to the Instant Pot. He likes to have something in both hands when he's eating. There you go. Takes a bite out of this side, and then a bite out of this side. <laughs> yeah, I don't want some right now, thank you. He loves to feed people. So this is a very quick supper too. It's not gonna take long to make. Oh, I have to make bacon too, I almost forgot about that. When I get the chicken in here, I'll cook up the bacon. We just need about six strips. this pan we're gonna melt a couple of tablespoons of butter while that's melting I'm just gonna chop up this bacon real quick I had a few bacon thieves but you don't need a lot of bacon anyway all right the butter's almost melted we're gonna put in some breadcrumbs and the bacon we're just gonna mix this together and let it cook for about two to three minutes on I have it a little over medium while this is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the cheese. We're using this Fritos cheese dip kind, but you can use whatever kind of cheese you wanna use, just it needs to be like, I mean, you can do whatever you wanna do, but anyway. We're using this spicy kind, and for those who don't want the spicy cheese, I have the regular mild cheddar. So I'm just gonna put those into something and heat them up in the microwave for just a little bit.
y'all. It's a little while later now. I got the kitchen clean. I even mopped the floors tonight. Got the laundry switched out. Got mainly his bath. He's ready for bed now. Cece's ready for bed. Jonah is about to go get ready for bed. And then the rest of us will all take turns. It's been a long day. We didn't really get up any earlier than we normally do. I guess just because I had to leave the house so early this morning, it just makes it feel like this has been a really long day. Monkey's ready for bed. Monkeys, this is Cece's monkey. It's one of the things she got for Valentine's Day, huh? What's his name? Dunstan checks in. Dunstan checks in. That's his name. That is a great name. Pongo Pygmaeus. Are you ready to go to sleep? Oh, he wants to see the baby. Say not not. See you tomorrow.